Hi, and welcome back to the show. I'm here at Lala Java with Joan Pearsall. She's the owner, founder, etc., of Best View Imaging. She's one of the people that takes professional real estate photos. I would also tell you that she helps us set up and adjust our own cameras here for the show. You can't get it out of your life, can you? I'm a, I'm a little overachiever. I'm always looking for ways to make things better, so. Good. So, how did you get into professional photography? Uh, well, I've been interested in photography, honestly, since high school. I joked that my first published work was in my high school yearbook. And, um, has some friends in the real estate business, and they said, well, you're a photographer. Can you take some photos for me? And then it just kind of grew from there, a little bit organically. Just started working for more and more You spent time in Cleveland, too. I did, at the that's Cleveland Institute of Art. That's one of the reasons I like you, is because I'm from Cleveland as well. I'm with the Case Western Reserve, so we always looked at the people over there. I had a, I commuted for a number of years with a guy from the Cleveland Institute of Art. Or uh, CIA, as we like to call it. Exactly, exactly. So... A lot of people, when they get to doing their real estate photos, some agents use professional photography. Mm -hmm. Some agents use their iPhone. Yep. Now, this is recorded on an iPhone. Yes, it is. So, what's wrong with iPhone versus professional? Tell me why. Uh, nothing wrong with the iPhone. I actually use my phone camera for personal photos, vacation shots, shots of the kids, things like that. I love my cell phone. It's a great tool. It's actually a lot like a Swiss Army knife, though. It does a little bit of everything. But if you're hanging a shelf in your home, are you going to use the screwdriver that comes on your Swiss Army knife or are you going to use um, a dedicated screwdriver? And that's kind of the difference between using your cell phone for marketing photos or using a professional camera for marketing photos. Um, if you look at a company like, say, Zappos or Amazon or, or even Walmart, they're taking professional photos of a $5 shark. Um, the lighting matters, all of that matters. The cell phone is great, it has some limitations. You don't have as much control as you do with a DSLR. With that, I can control the shutter speed, the aperture, the light sensitivity. I have a uh, speed light, which controls the lighting, and I can direct that up, forward, back, side to side. You know, with your iPhone, yeah, it comes with a flash. Or even an Android. I'm an iPhone user. My apologies to Android users. No, no disrespect. Um, but that flash only goes about two, four feet, and it's just a straight. Whereas with my camera, I can control the lighting more. So what I what I say to my clients is the way people find a home is they sit at work. Yes. And they're, they're they're on the internet and they're looking at homes and the photos are what's going to draw them into the home. Absolutely. And if the photos are bad, they're, they're actually kind of fun because there are websites dedicated to yes. bad real estate photos. But I think that having a good real estate photo helps to drag people into the... Uh, into, into the house and therefore they will request an appointment. Oh, absolutely. And NAR has done studies on this, National Association of Realtors and other um, businesses as well. And I think last time I looked, it was 89% of buyers look online first, whether they're just browsing Realtor or Zillow or whether they've arranged to work with an agent and you're giving them their daily feed of properties that match the listing. The first thing they do is look at the photos. And I don't care how beautifully you've described it, if they don't like the photos, they're never even gonna read that description. That's what grabs their attention. And that's what gets them to the next step. All right, well, I wanna thank you for coming onto the show and spending some time with us today and talking about real estate photography. Absolutely, my pleasure. Thank you, Joe. Thank you.